yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Levántate, oh yeah. Negro, 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 negro. Oh yeah, ponte en pie. Thank you very much, uh, Minister Akim, to this opportunity. And uh, I think so, the visibility is one of the things that uh, million men march give black people in their mind because education system in Europe, in the Eurocentric education system, educate black people, we are minority. We can not do anything without all the people support us. We can even uh, this meeting cannot be able because we need somebody to give up her means to meet him. So this is part of a very colonial mentality and, and black people all over the world, all over the world. And when a million men march took place uh, in uh, Columbus Day, uh, 2006, uh, Pan-African movement in Spain, we call 2000 people in the street for reparation. But we didn't do that. For ourselves, we do that because we see a million men march that the people doing something like this. Uh, before that, people didn't do this kind of march. People used to make march for immigrant, immigration, uh, you know, things like this. But to make march for reparation, it was through a million men march. And even now in, in London, the, the march they're doing for reparation, uh, the brother Hakim is one of the leader with Sister Esther, with all these people together, Rastafaris, uh, Muslims. So that is the consequence of a million men march that the, because this is, is something that the people don't know, but the, uh, we didn't, uh, before Durban conference, uh, Africans people, we was inside home. We were doing was visibility. We was always like, we, we are not united. We're united, but we're not publicly united. I think this is one of the things that was very important Another thing is the question of reparations. It was really by the march because um, different speakers in the in a million men march. But um, uh, after Brother Ben Davis speak and the Minister for and Mustafa and Mafarakan speak, and they was talking. Uh, it was talking always on reparation when he broke the history of the lynch. These uh, white owners of the black slave how how to trade Africans. And um, I think that uh, the question of reparation, black people, we begin to think that we have some past together and we need to, to, to do something that, um, that it can, uh, people can see us, we can see ourselves different. I think this is the second one. I think so um, the march uh, in my personal uh, life, and he changed my life and he changed the life of many people in my generation because they didn't see themselves the same. I, I traveled to Holland and we built an organization they call the African Roots Movement in Amsterdam, the Belmar. I went to England with the, all the Pan-African groups in that times. They was um, organized in Portugal. One brother calls um, Alcides Mendes, he, bring, he organized a group they called uh, Espacio Joven, the Youth Space. The all, in all these buildings, you have the picture of Farrakhan inside. But many people, even they don't know, but uh, this, they build them something. And you yes. tell me what, I, what, what I'm inspired to have to say, because if the uh, various uh, governments in the countries in yeah. which we all live and are bearing witness to the greatness of our experience in regards to hearing the voice of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and how much, how much it, it, it has transformed our lives and given us a good grounding to, 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 to lay upon which our children can be educated um, mm -hmm. from a good base. Now, if these governments had their way, that message would not have entered into any of our ears. Okay, and we would have all been robbed of the transformation process, as Brother um, Lee Jasper alluded to the fact that, you know, the United Kingdom has tried their best to try to ban the Honourable Minister Louis Farrakhan since 1986, 
but it shows the level of defiance in us as a people that even if government says we should not listen to somebody, we have shown for decades that we know that the governments do not have our best interest at heart. And we have all had to stand against the will of governments in order to be on this Zoom call today, to be able to testify to the degree that we have testified. Now, so what is the importance now? Because everybody on this line has proven that they're willing to fight against the wicked forces that be in order to, to really develop the highest level of care within itself. We know that that wisdom is not coming from government. And we have been blessed to all bear witness that that those words that sprung from the old minister, Louis Farrakhan, which has given us the tools to excavate out of ourselves the very best within ourselves. So with that as a backdrop, how important then is our testimony and our experiences to the next generation, the young generation, who, as some of you, Brother Geraldo uh, alluded to the fact, Brother Abdul Rahim alluded to the fact that they were 10 and they were three years of age. You know, many of our children were not even born at that time. This young generation who seemed to be somewhat lost and disconnected from each other, how is it for us to ensure that they get the message of the Million Man March and that they enjoy the eight atonement steps so that they can resolve some of the major issues that they have amongst themselves as a young generation. Um, I'll direct that question first to you, back to yourself, um, Doctor, and then I want to come to yourself, Brother, um, Brother Lee Jasper, then I come to yourself, yeah. Brother Abu Akil. I'm going to ask you, Brother Rudy, in Denmark, to prepare to just share a few words on the impact that the Million Man March had on you in Denmark, because we haven't heard from you yet from Denmark. So go, go ahead, Brother Dr. Um, uh, one, one of the things that the, the sister from Holland said, I think is very important because this connected with the, um, the beginning of the national Islam, the question of the lumpen proletariat. In Spain, in Europe too, in Spain, it was to uh, the brothers in the hood who was listen for a can, not intellectual. Yeah. That must be clear. It was brothers in the hood because the sister talked about this brother. It was the same here. The robbers, the people who are no document, people who are in jail, people like this in the street. It was, it was a, hey, boy, you see this man? You, see, you know this man in the calling? But the people in the school, people in the universities, uh, you know, they, they don't say, ah, no, let this guy, ah, boy, you left this, it's a radical, you know, things like this. But he was brought in the hood who really um, bring people together, listen to Farrakhan or listen to Million Men Mars. That must to be in the history because sometime in the history, the people who went to school, they changed the history and the people who was in the hood, they don't appear in the history. So I think the sister will do that to remember the brother because that's something like this happened here. Many people who follow Million Men March, follow for accounts, it was people who don't have document. Many of those people in the street, people who don't have anything. People didn't, didn't went to the campuses in the university, didn't went to, you know, many people was high school students, not university students. So mass, that's, that's was something that I was to point out because it's very important because that is part of uh, what I'm not the national list in the beginning with Elijah Muhammad, with Farrakhan, with the people. There was focuses, the people who's really fighting and suffering. And those people listen the message because okay. other level of people, they, they was always telling us that the Farrakhan is racist, Farrakhan is, ra is this, Farrakhan is that, and didn't want to listen. They just, no, no, no. But now 25 years out before, 25 years uh, after, um, uh, 25 years after, we can see, for example, we need to make films, we need to make books, because uh, Spike Lee made a film, only one film, only right. one. Right, right. We need to, very good point. Yes. Very good point. 
So the, documentation, the documentation of our personal testimony yes. is, is, is very important that we bequeath that, pass that on to the mm -hmm. next generation. So thanks to National Islam, to uh, to exist, to thanks Minister Barkan, to rebuild the nations was something necessary. And as the, um, as as a brother say in Denmark, uh, we must to uh, we must to make that uh, society where we live uh, see was this great date, this great event. Uh, in books, in films, in study. We at the uh, Malcolm Garvey University, we teach in the masters in the Black Thoughts and we have a, a, a part of all, a million mid March. It's something that we teach uh, to understand this century, to understand this time. It's necessary to go back to those days because um, uh, the, the Farrakhan's demonstrate that um, Somebody must to do it. Somebody got to do it. He needed it. And we cannot have no doubt about uh, the capacity of this man to unite all the people for the language, for the religion, for the philosophy, for the parties to do it. So for me, um, we must to continue teaching this, uh, this day in the youth, in the youth, make books, make films. Uh, I went to YouTube. I see how many films we have in YouTube on a million men march. So it's very important to get many, many, many films, books, because our children need that uh, legacy. Thank you very much, Mr. Um, Hakim and the nationalism in Europe. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you.